What's going on, Garage Gang? Matt from Garage MC here. Guys, in today's video, let's do some 250R talk. Um, I got some big plans, maybe not for this 250R here, you know, the 330 that we just got, but just really, uh, you know, riding another one of these, all, you know, decked out a little bit with some good power, really, really striked my uh, inspiration. So, got some big plans. Big money plans. Um, we're also in this video going to talk about this, the 465 EX. So, that being said, stay tuned, guys. Don't go nowhere. We're also going to open some new packages I just got. I ordered a four work seat cover for the 330R. So, if you guys are ever wondering what it's like to open up a brand new four work seat cover, which aren't cheap, but it's for a reason, they're really good quality, stay tuned because we got it right here in this bag. This one here, at least. Pretty sure that's the one with the seat cover in it, but got a couple other things too. And we'll go over some of the stuff that we're going to do to this one as well. This whole box is for that 250R. Uh, there's a couple extra pieces in there too. But like I said, stay tuned. Let's do some talking. Maybe we'll put some parts on too. Let's find out. All right, guys. So for those of you that are new to my channel, first off, welcome. Don't forget to always, you know, stop, hit that like button and, uh, Subscribe if you have not yet. We got all kinds of goody ATV content and whatnot. Uh, a lot of how to's, a lot of builds, kind of like this one that we're going to talk about here in a minute. But to get up to a the prelude to talking about my plans with this, and no, those are the plastics for that. They're just sitting on there. Um, before we talk about what I want to say about the 465, let's talk about 250R, man. Uh, I just got this uh, like about two weeks ago. It's a 1986. Honda TRX 250R. It has a PSI 330 kit on it with a PWK carb. I believe it's a 38 millimeter. Uh, ESR TRX 5 pipe. TRX 5B. I don't know if that, you know, makes a difference from other TRX 5s. I'm not too uh, knowledgeable on what pipes ESR offers. Also has an ESR silencer on it. Uni filter. Uh, it's got an aftermarket rad. It's got some pretty crappy radiator hoses on it. The temperature gauge over there. I got to polish the face of it because it's all an uh, oxidized. I, I almost said anodized. Um, we got these Team Alba Racing Pro Elite Nerf bars on here. Um, I believe whoever put these on didn't get the correct ones because these foot pegs on the stock 86, 86 and 87 has the two bolt pattern kind of like on these foot pegs here because this obviously is an 86. 87 and uh, I'm sorry, 88 and 89 has more like a dirt bike style um, that, that goes right to this uh, bolt hole here. So they flip up. Um, the 86, 87s also flip up, but the bracket goes for two bolts. The rear brake pedal goes through there, all that good stuff. Um, the foot peg should actually be about here, about in this location. So I keep my foot, like I gotta like move my foot to get to the brake, which is not good. You wanna be able to hit the brakes without having to think about that. So we are doing something about this. I have AC uh, racing full Nerf bars for this, but the ones that they sent me were for 88, 89. So I gave the original foot pegs off my other 86 TRX 250R and the brackets for the foot pegs to a buddy of mine. He uh, does fabrication and everything. I can weld too, but, you know, he does it like for a living. So I will insert some pictures of how he customized those for me so I could use the, the ones that I have on the 86, even though they're for an 88, 89. No big deal. Um, I'll insert some clips right here. Just They're just pictures, guys, as you can see here. Um, I gave him the stock foot pegs. He took the foot peg part off the bracket. And then made the brackets a little smaller so they could fit in the factory location on my, or, well, not the original to this quad, but another set of foot pegs that I had. Um, so this quad here, guys, this is what I want to talk about with you is. So as far as this 86330R that I have goes, um, I'm not going to really be doing a build on this, guys. It's a running quad. It runs good. So basically, I'm just going to dial this one up a little bit. You know, I already put my new AC grab bar on there, AC front bumper. Um, obviously, when I get my foot pegs back from my buddy, I'll put the AC nerfs on there. Um, quad is very hard to start, but once it's warm, it's good. And I've been doing a lot of talking lately with Dave Moore 
from Dave Moore Racing. He's like a 250R legend since 1985. I was born in 84, so he's been dealing with these things since before I was born. Guys, I am not savvy when it comes to messing with carburetors. Uh, I could take one apart and rebuild one and everything, and I can you know get something close, but I I'm not that great with carburetors. So I was talking to Dave, and... <laughs> His response when I told him that it's kind of hard to start, he's like, yeah, well, that's your pilot jet, you know, obviously. Um, I mean, it, it was a thought in my head. Obviously, I knew it was something carbureted, you know, issue-wise. Um, but, so, I got to pull that out. I'm going to bump up the pilot jet a little bit. It runs great after it's warm and everything, but when it's ice cold or if I don't ride it for, like, two days, it, it's, it's very hard to start. Like, it'll take a ton of kicks, and it, you know, yesterday I couldn't even get it started. So, I was like, all right, you know what, man, it's time to dig into this and, you know, make it my own and also get it running tip-top shape. So I believe I have some Kian jets here. Um, I ordered more just in case. So that I'm going to do off camera, guys. I'm just going to mess around with the pilot jet. That's not what this video is about. So yes, plans with this 86. Like I said, guys, I'm just going to dial it up. I have a lot of stuff. I'm going to lay it all out. I'm going to show you guys what I got, what we're going to put on the quad. And um, then we're going to talk about my plans with building the other one. We're going big bore. We're going big, big bore, like big daddy style. So let me get all the parts laid out. First thing we'll do is I will unpackage the four work seat cover with you guys. So you guys can see, you know, what it, what it looks like if you want to spend $210 on a seat cover. Um, that is not a special price for me. That's just what they cost. So there was no like sponsorship or any discount or anything like that. Uh, involved from four works just to let you know I think it was like 208 and change with shipping and uh, you, you can get them cheaper they have some that are already pre-made my thoughts on that are it's probably something that somebody ordered and then canceled so you know you can get them cheaper because they're just there but I decided to choose my own color scheme on it and uh, yeah so let me clean up the desk here I got parts all over the place you know 465 parts and everything there's engines everywhere. I got there's just too much stuff, guys. I I, cl I cleaned the garage thoroughly yesterday. I haven't even been able to see the top of this thing since I bought the damn toolbox. So yeah, all right. Let me stop talking because I will keep rambling on. Clean this off, set everything up, and we'll start with opening this and we'll check out what are in these too. So let's start out with some of these smaller packages that just came in today. First, let's see what we got in here. This is not the seat cover yet. <gasps> we got more more bags. Sweet. Oh, they have so much friggin' packing material from ordering parts. It's like enough to fill a friggin' dump truck. So in here we have a billet brake stay in anodized red. Uh, some people don't like this company. I haven't had a problem with them yet, so, you know, everything's been, uh, you know, up to par as far as what I've ordered from them. We'll go ahead and get a better look at this here. Open this thing up. So, this is obviously our brake stay. You really don't even see this when it's on the quad, guys, but you guys know anything that has anything to do with brakes on a quad, I, I like stuff like that to be red. The brakes and the suspension components, I like red. Uh, it's, just, it's just a preference thing. They offer it in different colors, too. I think this was like 40 bucks for this, so... It was worth it just for me not to have to polish the OEM one. So we got that. I think my OEM one's actually worth more than buying a new one of these. So, I mean, you could kind of be in that for negative money, honestly. All right, and this one, going with the red theme, if this is what I think it is. Yeah. All right, so we got chain guides, rollers, uh, the frame guard for the chain, and the chain guide that goes on the swing arm as well. That bike has none of these on it. That's just how I got it. Uh, obviously, if you guys follow the channel, you know that I got stuck out in the woods the other day because that thing blew like three of the pins that are in the chain that was on it, blew them apart. Chain was in like three pieces on the ground. Took me a while to find it, but that's all right. I was sitting there waiting to get picked up for a while. All right, so let's open up this. Here is our Four Works seat cover, guys. Um, how it comes packed this is exactly how I got it all I did was scribble out my uh, you know my address and stuff obviously so we're gonna go ahead and be careful opening this I don't want to damage this especially at $200 for a seat cover sounds a little pricey 
I know you can get cheaper ones, and as a matter of fact, guys, I have some of the cheaper ones here. Uh, I didn't even install them on the bike because they're that poor of quality, like the ones you see on eBay for like 50 bucks. So for this, yes, being four times the cost of one of those, it, it, it's worth it. Believe me. So here we go. Black and red, guys. That whole quad, the 330, is going to be nothing but black and red. So, I didn't get anything on the back. Uh, I was thinking about getting Honda on the back, but, you know, I just went with something simple. Instead of 250R, I got TRX 250R on the sides. Everything's red, black uh, side panel, black stripes on the top. Um, I'll go ahead and pull out one of those cheap eBay ones and show you. I also have a 4Works cover for my 85 ATC 250R as well. I'll grab that. It's all covered in dust because I never put it on. This one will be going on, though. I'm going to take care of this right away. Uh, the seat that's on that, it's still the OEM seat cover on it, but it's got a crack by the back left corner of it. So, anyway, the construction of this is, like, superb compared to the other one that I'm about to show you guys. There's even a foam backing in here that's all stitched in. All the stitches look really nice. They're dead straight. None of them are wavy. It doesn't look like, you know, little stuff like that. I'll, I'll look at on stuff like this, obviously, especially for the money that these cost for just a seat cover. Um, it, you know, you, it would bother the hell out of me if you'd see like this stitch line here and then there was like a, a, a whoop in it. You know what I mean? So that would just piss me off, um, especially at $208 and whatever cents this cost. Um, got this fairly quickly. This one came in a hell of a lot faster than the one I ordered for the ATC 250R. I think I ordered this about, well, I've only had the quad for about two weeks now. I think I ordered this about seven or eight days ago. The other one that I got that I'm going to show you now, I, I think I waited like five weeks for it. So you, you can do rush delivery on these. Uh, I didn't opt to do that because it's not like it was a crucial part. But, um, you know, if you're impatient, which I normally am. You know, you could pay a couple more dollars and get it, like, uh, I think in like two to three, two to three days, they'll have it shipped out and on its way to you. Let me grab the other ones and we'll take a look at the cheaper one and the other one I got and, you know, do a little comparison. This is the seat cover, also by 4Works, that is for my ATC 250R. The seats on the 250R three-wheeler are just slightly smaller than the TRX 250R. Um, you know, I mean, you could stretch it on there, but it ain't going to look right because obviously it's not made for it. Plus, there's no blue on this one. This is for the three-wheeler. But let's take a look at this eBay $40 or $50. I have to look it up, but I'm pretty confident saying it was about 50 bucks. So, construction. Just basic vinyl that you could probably get at Walmart in the arts and crafts aisle. Um... I had one of these for the three-wheeler too, but in blue. Um, I put it on there just to, I didn't even staple it on. I like stapled it on the front and back just to cover the foam up while it was sitting around. Um, you know, and then I got the other four works, one for the three-wheeler. But this is like what I'm saying here, guys. Look at the, let me get, let me get you in close on this so you can see the stitch lines. All right, so the stitch lines, like I said, with the four works. I mean, I could probably put a micrometer on that, and it's probably dead even. This is like, that's slightly off, but you really have to look at it to notice. Not a big deal. You're not going to notice that when it's stretched on the bike. But here's the cheap the cheap one. Um, I also waited like two months for this thing. That This cheesy $40, $50 seat cover took way longer to get than the 4Works one when I ordered this anyway. But here, let's look at the stitch lines here. Watch this. Like, what the hell? Are you, are you running off there? Like, what is going on with that? You know, it, it's all uneven the whole way. Like, what is going on here? They, they ran out of thread or something and restarted. You can see the stitches in there, like, where it's not even supposed to be seen. Does not match on the other side, so that's not how it was supposed to be constructed. Like, even, look, it gets thick right here. Like, little stuff like this, and yeah, I'm being picky. I am. You're damn right I am. Look at this. Like, wh what is going on there? Like, were you drunk when you stitched this? I, I, I don't even know how to sew, guys, and I could probably do this better. First try. 
anyway, this is what you get, man. You get what you pay for. So, four times the price, ten times the quality, in my opinion, anyway. Um, obviously, there's nothing like a fresh OEM seat directly from Honda, you know. Uh, there's another thing to point out with the cheap ones. This is, this is not a cheap one. This is a new old stock 400X seat. Um, the way that they print these on there... I don't care how good you are, it's going to take you, and, and don't get me wrong, you can get it looking straight, but these are always going to be like slightly disfigured when it's on the foam. Um, you know, it's just, it's not worth it, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a 250R, so in my opinion, this is like, you know, yes, I love my 400Xs too, guys, but, you know, that's like a Corvette, this is like a Honda Civic in my mind, just for like a comparison. It gets nothing but the best. If it's not going to be the best, I will wait and save up and get the best stuff that I can get for it or do it to the best of my ability. Let me say it that way. Well, anyway, enough talking about seat covers, guys. Or, you know, we got stickers on the way, too. These are for the set of white plastics that I have for the 86. Um, I'm going to leave the black on it. I'm going to polish those up. I also ordered a factory sticker kit for that, but instead of... Uh, red and blue it's all red and black so it'll match the theme of the bike also i have to polish up the pipe but we'll talk about all this in a second and then what my plans are with the 465 so let me lay out all these parts and we'll take a look at everything else we got going on i'll also pull this out of the bag so you guys can actually see what comes in there and i didn't really get a good good enough look at it when it was in the bag let me pull that out for you now and then we'll set up with the rest of the stuff so here's what comes in that kit guys you get the chain guide roller the uh uh, slider for the swing arm and I believe this part goes on the lower section of the frame so that's what comes in that kit so let's uh breeze through these other parts that I have here guys most of these I already had here because of the other 250R but like I said plans have changed with the way we're going to build that one uh, I have the engine for it right there there's another 250R engine just chilling there that's a FSU ported cylinder and I was going to go a certain route there's the stock cylinder. I have a uh, Pro Design cool head with a dome chilling there. Not an O-ringed one. Takes a regular gasket. Uh, this has a brand new CR250R gasket uh, up by the the head here. It's a lot thinner than the standard 250R. Bumped the compression up a little bit, but I'm not going to be using any of this now. So anyway, breezing through these parts real fast, guys. We have a Roll Design foldable shift lever. Um, got that actually pretty cheap, man. It was like 50 bucks on eBay. Couldn't really turn it down. It looks a little bit better. Uh, same for a TRX 450R. The diameter and spline count is the same. I believe there's something else it fits too. Yeah, uh, KTM 125, 350 through 91 through 97, 420 and 495 through 84 and 97. 250R, obviously, 86 to 89, and all 450Rs. So, just a uh, you know, little info if you're looking for something. You can shop around for different makes and models and still get what you're looking for. These front brake lines we're not going to use. I'm going to red ones. So you know, they're just here for visual purposes. I have to reorder the rear red brake line for the rear of the 465 because it's not long enough. It's just too shy. If I don't use the brake line clamp, it will fit. But, you know, I want it to be clamped down. So we got to get one. I only need like another two inches, you know, it's, you know, typical story. I always need a little couple extra inches. Um, let's not get on a 465 yet. So I have a GPI red. Uh, I already had blue hoses, but I ordered a set of red ones too, because that quad's going to be all black and red. So it has an aftermarket radiator on it now, but all the fins are all dinged up and bent and whatnot. So, you know, we, we're going to put some fresh stuff on there. You know, these aftermarket radiators are cheap, guys. I think it's like 65 bucks. You really can't go wrong. Um, from BVC Trikes, I have the seat latch uh, that uses the hitch pins here, trailer pins, whatever you want to call, whatever type of cotter pins these are. Um, this deletes the, the latch that goes on the seat. Uh, sometimes the 250R, the rear seat, will come loose. Um, this one hasn't, but... I'm going to go ahead and upgrade anyway to this, so we have that. I also have a whole nother 250R seat up there. That's I'm probably going to recover that one and leave the factory cover on the other one and just, you know, put it to the side for now. 
Um, I have a used ESR reed block. This thing's really sweet. This is going to go on that bike. That 330 actually has like a factory reed setup in it. So we can get a little bit more performance out of it. I'm going to do that when I pull the carb off and rejet it. Um, here we go. We have the Delrin uh, swing arm bushings. Instead of using the needle bearings and whatnot, these just, uh, they just replace all that. It's a lot simpler. Um, let's see if I can pull it out of here one-handed and hold the camera. You guys probably know what these look like. They just go in, here's an 86 swing arm here. They just, you know, one on each side of each part of the swing arm is what goes in there. I'm actually going to powder coat that black before my sticker kit gets here. That's why we have a nice black swing arm to match everything that's on there. Also going to get a rebuild kit for the full flight A arms. Um, I'm going to leave these on this quad, but I'm going to repowder coat those two because it's a little chipped up and everything. I'm going to throw some 450R shocks on this uh, 250R as well, kind of like these. I have a bunch of sets of those, so we'll put them to good use. Continuing with some of the stuff we have here, I have the uh, steering stem clamp. I got a new uh, bushing and bearing kit to rebuild that. Uh, you guys have seen. I ordered this for the LT250R, and the company that I got it from sent it to me fitting a different quad not the one that i ordered it for it's for a trx 250r so we'll go ahead and use that I'm not going to be ordering any more lone star parts from now on guys uh, i'm just you know not, i don't want to you know discredit them they have nice stuff but i just keep having a problem every time i order lone star stuff for some reason maybe it's just me I don't know, you know, I've ordered other, obviously the 465, every single thing on this quad that you can get from Lone Star is on this quad, minus a Lone Star frame. Um, <clears throat> just, we'll just leave it at that. I'm just, I'm not ordering any more Lone Star stuff, all right? So, yeah, we got this up by the, uh, goes up here where the steering stem bolts to the chassis. This one here, let's give it a little cleaner look. You do see that through the plastics right here when you're looking at the quad so go ahead and upgrade that with the uh, upgrade that um yeah anyway next thing we got i got a billet water pump impeller and i have like the full uh rebuild kit for the water pump too uh the stuff you guys just seen brake stay and all that i have a whole nother rear brake set up here so i'm going to rebuild this one and powder coat it now all that good stuff also going to upgrade the uh the reservoir for the rear i think i'm going to order the master or slave cylinder whatever proper terminology for these things now are if you guys haven't noticed that they used to be called slave cylinders now they're called master cylinders Duh, I, I don't know that's like a crisscross applesauce type of thing why can't you just say indian style anyway um the one where the reservoir is actually part of the master so i'm gonna order one of those they're a little pricey but you know it deletes all this extra stuff and just makes it a lot simpler. Um, what else we got? Terry cables. Uh, this is the throttle cable. I'm not going to be able to use it with that PWK carburetor, though. I have a rear bearing rebuild kit. Also have a LSR, uh, yeah, Lone Star, again, uh, rear axle carrier. Those are quite a few dollars, and really not that much better than the chinese ones man i use the chinese axle carriers all the time guys the ebay ones for like 40 50 bucks i haven't had one problem with them yet but you know i'm also not riding motocross or xc or anything i am just a hobbyist uh to a stupid expensive level uh what else we got the very hard to find uh, rear linkage rebuild kit PWLK H23020. These are hard to come by, the linkage rebuild kits for the 250R, anyway. But your boy's got about five of these here. Five popped up for sale, so I bought all five. So if you were somebody that was trying to buy those when I bought them, sorry, um, I have them. All right, so let's move into this now. What is under this is uh, I'm not trying to give you any clues or anything, but. This is going to be, the company that this part came from is going to be a huge part of, well, not this 250R, but the one we're going to fully build. This is just a dress-up situation. It's just a rider. That's it. So these are obviously factory stator covers, ignition covers. Um, 
This one is exactly how I got it. This one was when I was starting to teach myself how to powder coat. Got a little bit of dust in the finish and stuff, but, you know, whatever. It's just something to practice on. These are, you know, they're, they're cheap to replace, guys. Like 50 bucks or something for another factory one. But under here is ah, Mod Quad, baby. Stator cover. Full billet. Um, sweet part, guys. Uh, Mod Quad makes some really really nice stuff mod quad if you guys are watching you already know the conversations that me and dave moore are having i appreciate you guys really appreciate what you guys do for the community um mod quad makes some good stuff guys let me show you some other parts they have like here in the 465 box here's just one piece if i can get it i mean look at the this is the dipstick for the 4 400x 465 in this case um Really nice stuff, man. Really good quality. Um, pretty affordable, too. All right, so let's talk about what we're going to talk about here, obviously, in this video. Um, I'm putting together an engine, uh, and I'm partnering up with... Well, not partnering, but we're teaming up. Let me say that. Partnering kind of, you know, uh, makes you think something differently than how I'm trying to describe it. We're teaming up. Uh... I want to build, and I know a lot of you guys that watch my channel definitely watch Mike Sabo's channel too. He's doing that, uh, the DMR Lynx, the 380, uh, with the billet cases and everything. I want to do a very, very similar to what Mike is building, Mike Sabo, for his 380 that he's building, the 309R, the Patriot, uh, TRX that he has. His is an 87, um... The other TRX that I have is an 86, so same year as this one. I want to do the 380 kit, the billet engine cases. So instead of the stock standard inner cases, they, they will be billet as well. Billet clutch cover with the quick removable, quick change uh, clutch cover on it. Probably be using all nickel or titan nickel coated or titanium hardware on the engine. That's, you know, I haven't figured that part out yet. But I'm going to go a little further with mine. Uh, it's going to cost a little bit of money, which is what we're going to get into talking about with the 465 here in a minute. Um, I want to do the billet transmission, uh, the Zeotronic ignition, all that stuff, guys. Uh, PWK39 that Dave is going to bore out for me or do his magic to it. Um, or I'm sorry, a 38 that he's going to bore out for me because I have a 38 already. I have a few of them. Uh, that's, you know, that, that's the direction I'm going with the other one that I'm building. So 380, billet everything, also billet transmission. It's going to be a bulletproof engine. It's going to really, it's going to get it. You guys know how I like to do things. Uh, if I'm going to do something, I want to do it to the best of my ability. So my plans on that build and that's not even counting you know all the other stuff that i want to do to it like you know the roll design a arms uh i want to do a roll design stem roll design clamp uh just everything is just going to be all billet all custom fresh powder coat obviously all that good stuff um i have brand new white plastics not sure if that's the color route that i'm going to go i might just keep those for a second set for this uh 330 or uh our little backup rider which i'm gonna start doing some stuff to here today but yeah that's the plan for the 250r build guys so we're gonna dial this one up and then we're gonna build a just insane insane trx 250r 380r however you want to call it i still call it a 250r because that's what it is um it's gonna be a little pricey not as bad as i originally thought though um Guys, it's not, they're not that unattainable to get, like, some of these billet parts like this. I know some of you are thinking it's probably a few grand just for the cases. It's not. Um, Mod Quad makes all that stuff. Uh, well, the cases and all that stuff they make. Uh, the billet transmission comes from another company. I'll, you know, delve into all that with you guys as the parts come in. Um, all right, so... <laughs> Let's talk about the 465EX real quick and why this has anything to do with 250R talk. The 465EX, guys, 
I've been building this quad on and off for like the past year because I start doing something and then I want to make it better and then I start redoing it, blah, blah, blah. Guys, I could finish this quad today and go ride it. So it, it it's just me <clears throat> pretty much, uh, I don't even know. Like I'm just, I keep changing my mind on stuff and this and that and I just want it to be so perfect. But you know what? The way I got it is very good as it sits. So I'm going to finish putting this quad together this week here. And because we're going to be spending a ton of money building another 250R, I'm going to sell this quad as soon as I fix it. Or as soon as, not fix it, as soon as I finish putting it together, which I'm going to bang out this week. Don't worry, I will video it and take you guys for the ride because you guys have been there with me this whole time since I started building this quad. I know you guys are dying to see it. I want to see it too, so I'm going to get out of my head with thinking I can keep making stuff better and just stick to the plan, finish it. Don't worry, we're still going to make videos with it. I'm going to race it against a couple other quads I have while it's listed for sale. Um, it's going to be a tough sale, guys. It's probably not going to sell because I have probably about $17,000, not counting my labor, into this quad. Um, so... You know, like, what what would I even get rid of it for and feel comfortable letting it go at? Obviously, I know I'm not going to get back the money I put into it, you know. But for anybody that knows what they're getting and has proof of how this quad was built and everything that went into it, should be an easy sell for somebody that's in the market for something of this caliber. So, you know, that's how I'm going to list it for sale. Uh, it will be linked to the YouTube videos on whatever platform I list it on. I already listed it for pre-sale on Marketplace. I already got a ton of interest in it. Um, but there's a certain number I'm not going to let it go for under. Uh, yes, I'll still afford and get all the stuff to build a 250R. So it's not like I have to sell this to build that. Um, but, you know, I, I also have to live life too. You know what I mean? I can't just keep all this, all these things that I keep buying and building. Um, I, I more or less enjoy building them. Almost more than I enjoy riding them. Uh, and as far as YouTube goes, guys, I, I I honestly wouldn't even be doing YouTube. I would have stopped already if it wasn't for you guys. Uh, all your guys' comments, I really appreciate you guys. I just I keep doing this to to for you, basically. Uh, as far as the YouTube thing, I'd still be doing quads and riding quads. That's not what I'm saying. Um, but yeah. So that's the plan with the 465 EX, guys. If any of you are interested in it. You, you know what's in this quad. You've seen it. You've seen all the love and care and customization and labor that went into this thing. So, you know, if you're interested, brand new 2023 TRX 465 EX. Full Lone Star everything, guys. Even the vape, everything's all vapor blasted. Custom powder coat that I did myself. Like, the only thing I didn't do on this was the vapor blasting. I farmed that out. So, you know, NJ Vapor Blast. Did all that for me. You guys have seen the videos. You, you know what, what went in this quad. Uh, the Elkas that I ordered for it. Guess what they fit? They fit a 250R. So this quad will be sold with the 450R shocks on it. Um, and yeah. You know. That's the plan guys. Also up for sale. Is my Raptor 700. 2013. With a title. You guys have seen that too. Everything that's on that is all brand new. Um. You know, that's up for sale right now on Marketplace. So if you want to search it, go ahead and see. Um, I think I got that at a pretty pretty fair price for what it is. I just put about four grand in that quad. And, you know, like I said, I have the title for it. So I listed it for $7,500 or best offer. Or will trade for an LT500R Quadzilla. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Um, need one of those too, you know. Uh, only thing I did not list for sale is my lt 250R. That is going nowhere. We're keeping all the two strokes. If you guys notice the, the progression and evolving that I've been doing, I've been collecting stuff and then selling some off and picking up something that's more rare and collectible. You know, that's that's kind of where I've been going. You know, I got a lot of the two strokes that I would always wanted to have. You know, I just don't have a Quadzilla yet. 
But, you know, the three-wheeler 250R, the four-wheeler 250R, the LT 250R. Uh, I'm not a dirt bike guy, but if I was, we'd have a CR500 sitting here. Might still get one anyway, just to have it. You know, I'm sure I'll come across a deal for one of those one of these days. But, yeah, guys, that's the plan. I know some of you guys are probably like, oh, man, you're going to get rid of the 465? Don't get upset, man. You could own it from minute one or well you know however many minutes are going to be on it after i break it in and everything make sure everything's good i don't want to sell something to somebody that is not 100 percent ready to go as if you bought a brand new quad uh if you're wondering around what i would take for this guys go find out what a brand new raptor cost just you know for a hint yeah it's a lot less than what i have into it it's like two-thirds of what i have into it but you know it is what it is man so this was just a video, a little 250R talk, guys. Let you know where we stand, what our plans are, where we're trying to go with things. And, uh, yeah, that's it, man. If you don't know, I read and answer every single one of my comments. You take the time to comment. I take the time to read and answer you. So, if not yet, subscribe, man. We got some, we got a fun journey ahead of us with some 250R goodness. And, uh, if any of you guys are interested in any 250R billet cases... Go ahead and send an email over to Dave Moore. It's 250rcases at gmail.com. Um, you know, just don't, you know, it, only if you're serious. Don't bug the guy. He's very busy. So, you know, if you're in the market for something, check it out, man. Check it out. They're not that bad price-wise, you know. And uh, that's it, man. I'll see you guys in the garage next time. Thanks for watching. Peace! Oh man, I gotta pick all this shit up now. Oh, you're still here? That's cool. I appreciate that you watched the whole video. Since you did, I just want you guys to know that it's your guys' opinions that I am looking for on what we just talked about with selling the 465 and the plans on the other 250R that we're gonna build. Drop your comments, man. Uh, you know, I, I like to treat these videos as kind of like a, like a virtual forum. You know how you go on a forum that's for a specific thing and everybody's having conversations on it? That's what these comment sections are for, guys. I read the comments, I answer you, but you can also read other viewers' comments and also comment on their comment. So, uh, you know, that's really the only analogy I can... Put it in is it it's a virtual forum um you know it's pretty cool so uh yeah so you guys that are still here drop your comments man i will uh read your comment and uh treat it differently than the rest of the comments of ones that people that probably clicked off or <clears throat> you know people that don't have patience enough to watch a whole video or you know fast forward through stuff so uh if you did make it this far right i made it and then put your comment and I'll know which one you guys are. I'll see you guys in the garage next time, like I already said. Peace.